Hi boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Mark II Story. Today we're going to talk water in your footwell, what it could be and how you can fix it. Okay. Hey guys and girls, so being a Mark II golf owner you'll know a few things. First of all, that they're fucking awesome. Secondly, that they're great to drive. Thirdly, that they look amazing. And four, that they let water in. One place you might notice the water might be down in the footwell. On the driver's side, you'll generally find it. It splashes down here. Maybe on top of your fuse box. Or wet carpet. On the passenger side, generally in that corner. It could be coming in under the, under the air box under here. So let's do that. We have to take out the scuttle tray. Let's remove these clips, the clip on the top, and remove this rubber. Let's pull those ups. Pulls up all the way along. Be careful with these clips because they can break. Best getting a screwdriver on. Get a small screwdriver. Pop it underneath. Give it a wiggle. And hopefully it should come off. Do that all the way along, remove the one, two, three clips. And when you removed all those, the scuttle tree should, should come off. Then it will give you access to this air box. Now, if you don't have a scuttle tray, it's likely that water could be getting in around the bottom of this and then clear all the crap away from around here. It's got some clips here, the side, some pins that hold it in place. It's got a circlip here. So you pop that off and pull it towards you this way. I'm not going to do mine because I've put some sealants under here as well. I've, had a new, I've replaced the rubber seal but I've also put some silicon seal underneath it. Another thing to check is your drain holes. There's a drain hole there. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. So that's one area. The water could be coming in around here in the passenger side. On the driver's side, you've got this cover for your ECU. Again, check your drain holes are clear. There's no leaves blocking it up. And you could be getting water around here as well. Well, that's the same deal. Put a crud around here. Clip it about. Clip there. And clip this. Take that off and push it backwards. And it'll come off. Most water in your footwell will come from around your windscreen. As you can see on mine here. It's really rusty. Water will get under here, and it will sit in it away. Same on this side. You can see at the top, it's almost as bad around here. Long. So, what I've done in the past is I've had taken the rubber off, taken the windscreen out, had someone repair the metal. The windscreen sits on. And that seemed to work for a few years, but it's pissing in again. So I've bought a complete new panel, which is this part. All the way along for the windscreen to sit on. Here's the replacement panel. And the windscreen will sit along here. This is the bit that normally corrodes when all the water comes in. One thing the problem I've got with this is there's no wiper hole on this side, so I need to get one put in and get that one blocked up. Before I do that, I need to find I need to get this primed, get a layer of paint on the back, and then find a garage that will install it for me and paint it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and give it a dry. It's been outside in the wet for about 10 seconds, and then I'm going to put some primer on it. Okay, so I've got the panel hung up. It's all dry. I'm going to give it a couple of coats of primer on this side, let that dry, turn it round, and do it on the other. 
Ico Zinc Primer. Uh, the Zinc Primer is the best to go for because uh, it's got 60% zinc metal particles in it, which provides exceptional anti-corrosive properties. So that's the best primer to go for if you're going to try and prime it yourself. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've done two coats on each side. It's looking okay. It's got okay coverage. I'll let that fully dry. Paint the back side, which is this side, just so it's water protected. And then I'll find a garage to fit it. Well, that's it for this episode. I need to just find a body shop that's going to fit it and paint it now. Um, if you found this useful, if I've given you some ideas where water might be coming into your car, uh, drop a like, leave a comment, and um, subscribe maybe. I've got more things to do with this car, so it's going to be a few more episodes to come. Thanks a lot, guys.